January 30th, and this is how you play the Battleship game that is in your Google Classroom for week one of the second semester. You are going to see a Battleship Sample 1, a Battleship Sample, battleship sample 2, and your job is to pair up with somebody, one of you grabbing the uh, Sample 1, one grabbing the Sample 2, and play a game of Battleship. If you don't know, Battleship is a game where you don't see the uh, player's ships. And if you're wondering what I mean, in the classic Battleship game, there are five little plastic ships on a grid, one aircraft carrier, which is five spaces, or in spreadsheet talk, five cells, one battleship, which is four cells, one submarine, three cells, one cruiser, three cells, and one destroyer, which is two cells. These ships can be on the ocean here, your 12 by 12 grid in the spreadsheet, either horizontally or vertically, so they can be side to side or up and down, somewhere hidden in the grid. How you find them is you launch a shell or a missile and you land it by calling out a cell. So in particular, if I wanted to launch right here to this cell. This would be E8. So I'm going to click in E8. And the instructions here say to place an X in the square. Please use the X because that's what counts your guesses right here. So an X. And if the square turns red, that means I missed. I did not hit any ship. Then it would be my partner's turn to do theirs, and then I would guess again, oh, maybe it's somewhere right here. I would X and, up. Oh, it's still red, I missed again. And just keep uh, taking guesses back and forth until you see a square turn green, and that means you have hit one of the ships. Here it is, a green. Now, I can uh, have to guess, does it start and go down or is it go side by side? I'm gonna try side by side. Oh, there we go. I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna keep firing my guesses. You'll notice here my guess count so far is six. So you can see I found four in a row. That looks like I found the battleship. I've got four ships to go. Your partner will be guessing as well. And then the person who gets the fewest amount of guesses to find I all five ships is the winner. That is what you do with the first part of today's assignment. Play a game of spreadsheet battleship. The next part of this assignment, students, is for you to create your own spreadsheet battleship game. The first thing you need to do is decide where your ships go. So again, the list is here under step two. You have an aircraft carrier, which is five cells in length, a battleship, which is four, two vessels that are three cells, and one that is two cells. So you need to place those. And the first thing I would do to make your conditional formatting easier is to use the fill bucket and just color the cells temporarily where you want your ships to be. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, and put my aircraft carrier here and the cells I highlight, and then just use a color to show that. I'll go ahead and just do one more example. Go to the fill color bucket. There, I'll just use two for my example. Now, I've got these. Uh, once I have all five of my ships marked where I want them, I am now going to make them turn a color based on conditional formatting. I'm going to go to Format. I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting. And that's going to open my panel up here. Now, I have left this row highlighted. And you can see that shows up here. 
it says apply this conditional formatting to range G4 through I4. So here I am, G4 through I4, this row right here. And I'm going to choose a color for when the ship is hit. The cell will turn, and just like in my other ones, bright green when the ship is hit. And I'm going to click Done. So these three cells are chosen now, and here's the condition when the cell is not empty. I'm gonna do the same thing here. What's handy for us also is, oh, I'm now gonna select another rule. And what's handy for us is, is not empty. So it says format cells if not empty. Well, that is what we want. We want somebody to put a letter in there to show where they've uh, chosen to launch their shell or missile. Again, bright green, done. Keep doing that until you have made a rule, uh, a formatting condition for all of your ships. Now, once that is done, and I, this is why I think you should also leave uh, these, the fill color of the cells highlighted temporarily, is now you can go and uh, format the rest of the cells for a miss. So I'm gonna add another rule. Oh, I'm gonna cancel. I wanna highlight the cells. I'm just gonna grab all the ones that are empty here at the top. And I'm gonna add another rule. And it's, again, is not empty. I'm just gonna choose a different color. I'm using the ones that I did in my examples. It's really up to you what colors you want to use. Just um, make it th those colors reflected in whatever instructions you provide. So keep highlighting cells, keep uh, giving them the conditions that you want for the game to work. So the ships are one color, the misses are another color. Now the last part is counting the guesses. We are going to use the formula that's in the pair deck and that is the count if formula. And this is a formula that is going to let us uh, count if a certain condition is met. And in my case, this is uh, count if there is an X in the cell. Does it really matter what is chosen? Nope, you can make it any letter. The count if though is going to look for the same character no matter what. So choose a, uh, choose a letter of the alphabet and then stick to it. You can see right here in number five on the instructions, it says place letter X in the square. If you choose a different letter, change X to uh, reflect that letter in your instructions. So here's what that, and it's gonna be really small. I put the formula really big in the pair deck. Click where you want the count to appear and I am going to, uh, oops, I'm going to click in here and I'll always start with the equal sign. And then uh, before the parenthesis, I'm going to type in count and notice how it will bring up the list and count if. And the first thing you do is you select all the cells you want the count if to apply to. So I am going to select the grid that I have lined out of my cells. Now, we're not ready to close the parentheses yet. We need to tell it what to count. So we're gonna add a comma, and then we are going to do a quotation mark, the letter X in my case, close the quotation mark. So quotation marks on each side of the X, and then don't forget, close the parentheses, and then hit the enter key. <clears throat> now you can see zero is here because there are no characters. And now no matter where I touch it, if I put an X, there it will. And uh, the X is there. You can see my conditional formatting works. How about here, does the formatting work? Yep, it turned that cell green. And look, my count is accurate as well. And my game is working. So now to prepare my game for somebody, I'm gonna undo my tests and the last thing you want to do is go back over your ships you highlighted so you could see where things were on your grid and go back and just click reset on the fill button when it's done you should have a blank 
playing, sur uh, playing area, and you should have your count at zero until somebody starts playing your game. Once your battleship game is complete, please turn it in to this week's Google Classroom.